Hey guys, Rob Desario here. We're going to go out on another case today. This is a civil liability case. This is a slip and fall. This is as simple as it gets. What we're going to do is we're going to go out and go to the location. We're going to get some photographs and we're going to be able to uh, document it for our client. It's as simple as it gets. I just need my little case here and let's do it. All right, so we're in the car. First thing I always like to do is I like to write down my mileage before I leave my driveway. So I have a simple file folder. Don't overcomplicate this, folks. Simple file folder with the client, well, with the complainant's name, not necessarily the client. And uh, I like to do that because the trying keeps everything organized with regard to if I have one client that sends me hundreds of cases, um, I can divide them by uh, their clients, so by the, the complainant. So first thing I'm going to do is going to write down my mileage. And that's my starting position. When I find, when I get to where I'm going, I write down my mileage. And then if there's a point C, I write down the mileage when I stop there and then back again. A lot of uh, people use phone apps and stuff for mileage and stuff like that and to document their hours. Absolutely reasonable if that's comfortable for you. For me, I'm so old school. I like a pen and a paper. I like to write everything down. Uh, not to say I don't trust technology, but I think we've seen a lot of times when uh, you know apps crash, uh, computers get wet. You know that's the that's the type of stuff. So uh, I like a pen and paper. I keep all I print out everything and I keep all the my notes and the folder, all the documentation I need right here. So when I'm on the street, I don't have to rely on a computer. I can grab the folder, say, oh, what was that address again? Boom. Who was that witness again? Boom. There it is. The other thing I like to do is a lot of people like to use, uh, you know, Waze apps and stuff for directions. I am so old school. I stick with the GPS. Plug in the the address and I follow the GPS. And the reason I do that is simply because if I'm following my directions on my phone and all of a sudden I have a client call me, I have a phone call, my battery dies, or I need some other app, I'm all screwed up. I'm looking for the address, I'm trying to figure out where I am. Here I have two different devices doing two separate jobs. I think their over-reliance on the phone is, uh, it hurts uh, investigators every once in a while um, because they try and do too many things with this one in this one unit. Simplify it, folks. I have a file folder, old school pen and paper. I have a, a, an old school, this is a, I think it's a Magellan GPS. They're uh, 50 $100. They still sell them. Uh, this one's older than, than most of you watching this video, but um, it, it works really, really good. With that said, let's do it. And of course, no good investigation can start without the morning Joe. Now we got our coffee, we can make it happen. All right, so here we are, we're on location. Um, I've already met with the client and um, one thing I like to do is I like to show in these slip and fall cases, uh, Google, uh, you know, maps, location, a satellite view, and I have the client point exactly to where they fell. Uh, a little backstory in this story, um, we had a snowy, icy storm a couple weeks ago, and uh, she had stopped. This is a uh, state property, I do believe, and um, she stopped, went up the hill, slipped on the ice. It wasn't uh, prepared correctly, and uh, now she's suing um, those responsible. So <clears throat> I had the client pick a, a point on the map and exactly where she fell. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and take photos of that location in the surrounding area. And what this is, is um, if it ever comes up in court, they show, them, they show the picture, they show the map. Now obviously the snow and the ice is gone at this point. But, um, you know, a judge or, or the court can see exactly what the location is, where the, the victim was walking, and then, and then where they slipped. Um, just a little side note. I try and dress like a slob on these types of cases. I'm not meeting with anybody, so I don't really have to impress anybody. But um, I, I try and dress as a slob only because I, you raise less attention if you're walking around like a slob. If you're if you're nicely dressed, you know, suit and tie, and you're doing these cases, you tend to attract a lot of attention, and uh, that's the last thing I want to do. I want to just kind of uh, go over there, take some pictures, and then uh, be nothing but a memory to to some of these people. Um, 
the black box. This is a private investigator's secret weapon. Everybody needs one. Uh, if you want to put one together, send me a DM and um, we'll uh, we'll talk about it. Um, they're very relatively. I put this one together and it has the three tools that are used most often in uh, in this business. Uh, I have obviously my camera and nothing fancy. Really, guys, do not go above and beyond when buying some equipment. A lot of guys they go out and they buy the best and brightest latest technology simplify simplify this business it's really a low cost investment business um, this is very simple what is this a Nikon cool pics give me a break right takes digital photos obviously the tape recorder for interviews anytime I sit down with somebody I ask their permission can I record you and this is a valuable tool and then you play it back because so a lot of times you take a note I take notes too at the same time a lot of times you take a notes and uh, you may you know you're writing so fast you, you miss something that was very very important you go back and listen like oh wow I didn't realize that she that that she said that and then of course my bug sweeper this is a uh, low-cost uh, bug sweeper you know um, Really not not uh, high tech or anything, but it's enough for me if a um, if a spouse thinks that uh, you know a microphone was placed somewhere in there. These will, these these units are actually pretty pretty uh, pretty good. And actually, uh, I'm gonna uh, publish a book uh, in a couple of months, um, and um, one of the companies that um, I, I work with a lot that sells these these gadgets. Um, I'm gonna give a link to them. I'm not gonna tell you who it is now, but. Uh, uh, when I publish the, my PI book, it's going to be called PI Business. Um, when I publish it, it'll, all the information will be there, and um, you guys can reach out to them, and, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get uh, get a discount for reading the book. All right, so that's all I got. Let's go out there, and let's take some photos, and uh, do it up. Thanks. So that's about it. Uh, I got some really good photos. I just kept, you know, I was doing the uh, the double snap. So every time I stop to take a picture, I got a double snap. Um, yeah, I just, the the guy looking at me, giving me the giving me the eyeball. Everybody's so curious to know what you're doing, um, but whatever, you just got to do it. You're smiling and uh, love what you do. Um, get down real low at some of those pitches. You can see the elevation. Is it the wrong pitch? Are there any uh, kinks in the sidewalk? That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for here. Um, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, I hope you learned something. Any questions, comments down below? I try and respond to as many as I can. Uh, there's a lot of negative Nellies out there. Sorry, you're gonna write something discourteous or or, or stupid. Uh, your comment's not gonna get posted. Sorry. But if you got some a good quality question, that's gonna I'll see if I can answer that as, as quickly as I can. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.